It's 3 a.m. December 30th, and I believe my laser cutter is currently cutting a postscript file that I've converted to a flut file by Don Lan Lancaster. Thank you, Don. Okay. So, what we have here is one scanner with a um, 3 8 of an inch aluminum rod attached by a plumbing bracket coming down. And then we have another scanner over here with a clamp holding down the 3 8 of an inch rod going for the Y. This is uh, the laser. It's just a diode from a laser scanner and it is being run by that power source over there. Here's the code, as you can see, X, 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 Y, X, 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 Y, X, and so on. Um, what I've done was I've drawn an image called Pope Says Bang in Illustrator. I saved it as an SVG because while I was trying to turn an Illustrator file into a PostScript file, it gave me some really, ooh, nasty PostScript. So, um, instead I just sent it over as a SVG to Inkscape and I saved the Inkscape file as a PostScript and I got some really nice clean stuff that Don Lancaster's, uh, PostScript code, I guess, converted into a series of north, uh, east, northeast, north, s northwest, west, southwest, south, and southeast um, bits of code and the way I've, uh, the way it does it it actually turns the path into a series of steps that these two guys can take by going uh, east it would just run the east motor either positive east or negative east or then if it wanted to run, um, go northeast it would take it northeast so northeast like that and all that's being controlled through my serial port back here out to these two uh, drivers. So basically the output from the computer is only 5 volts so it goes in through these guys and we get an amplified signal that's coming from here and it's right over here, 12 volts. So, uh oh. We've completely stopped moving. Oh, I touched something. Something bad must have happened. Okay, because the code's still going and definitely not moving here. Okay, oh shoot. What's the short? Oh, I unplugged it. Remind me never to touch those again while this thing's running. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, this is a complete hack. This scanner is standing on top of books. Oh, do you see how it's going fast? That's a good sign. Basically, what I've done is instead of lifting or turning off and on the pen while it's cutting in order to skip over paths that it doesn't want to cut out let's say you have two circles on a page um, it would normally just cut straight through from one circle and then draw a line a cut between it and the other circle instead um, I just figured out what the time necessary this laser needs to cut something and I just made it step over it faster so it wouldn't cut the paper that way I can create the stencils and that's the fundamental goal of this whole project to create a uh, sidewalk sized stencil through um, without using my hands because I I tear up my hands with that damn exacto blade okay I well, hope you guys like it as much as I do I'm hoping this will work I, I don't know what that brief moment of power outage means it probably doesn't mean much I mean we probably missed a couple pixels that's it kind of slow but it's necessary to be slow when you're using a diode this um, week. I do have a much stronger diode but I'm using this for safety and for um, well to be able to teach people how to do it because if they did it with uh, the more expensive equipment it's probably less likely that they'll be able to afford the project. I hope everyone can afford this and everyone will have as much uh, fun making it as I did. 